Hello and welcome back to Cardboard Decoy Plays Don't Starve. Now, a couple things. Number one, I forgot that it's a full moon, which means we can go get Glomer back as soon as it turns dark. Two, I also found out that cactus flowers aren't used for much. It's basically the shirt, and then after that, it's pretty much whatever. Um, you can make uh, a flower salad, but it's not the best. It's basically really good if you have an excess of vegetables, which, you know, actually, if all these plants wither, I don't care, because I have so many froggy bun witches, it's ridiculous. Alright, I do have my torch, don't I? Yes, okay, I do have a torch with me, so uh, that thing's going to try to attack me. It's eating all the grass. That's totally fine. Wait, is that... That's a for real monster meat. That's interesting, and I think a norm... unnatural. Uh, there might be a bug involved in that. So, it's supposed to be the, the lure plant, the lure meat, but maybe it takes a meat and uses that as a lure instead? I have no idea. That's very strange to me. Alright, more frogs. Good god, the frogs are everywhere, and they will remain so until further notice. Okay. So, let's go over here. First things first, we're going to pick up Glomer's flower, which is... Yeah, okay, a little bit further this way. That's fine. Okay. Yay! So, cactus flesh, however, is a little bit more useful, uh, because it can be used in, uh, it, whenever you cook it, it heals a pretty decent amount of sanity, and it can be used in a, a guacamole recipe. I did not pronounce that in, correctly. It has a mole in it. You use one cactus flesh, one mole, and then some other random junk, and you will have guacamole. So, that depresses me to a certain degree. I will not be making guacamole. <laughs> I, uh, you know, call me sentimental. Uh, needlessly so. Regardless, I will not do that because I, I think the moles are freaking great. They're star nosed mo star nosed moles, man. Totally fine. That is fresh frog legs. I don't know what's up with that. Can I get them to come out? Maybe no. So maybe they would, and then I could fight some uh, were pigs. But so it doesn't seem that way. Okay. Alright, now, if we go back over here, we can offload some of our junk. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll offload the majority here. And then, do I have any spare twigs? Not really. We'll go ahead and dry these frog legs so that they're a little more universally usable. Okay. Seeds go in here. Alright, I have a very worn pig helmet, but we shouldn't be getting into too much trouble here. And uh, now we have a glomer. So, did I, wait, did I actually explain what glomer gloop does? Other than, yeah, okay, so it's just a top tier uh, fuel. It's very, very good for fuel purposes. And man, there's a lot of evil flowers. Oh yeah, that's because it's a full moon. I kept thinking it was a sanity effect, but it's actually a full moon effect. Okay, wait, we need at least one space for flowers and one space for rocks, and we have no pickaxe. Ah, <sighs> my ability at planning. I get so easily sidetracked. Okay, well, while we're here, we can go ahead and throw our axe, or uh, our thermal stone can go in the fridge. We'll let that cool off for a little bit. And then we'll toss our axe in here. And then we need a golden pickaxe, ideally, which we do not have, so we'll have to make that super quickly. All right, let's make you opulent pickaxe. Fantastic. Throw that in there. Okay, flint, spear. Okay, I don't plan on fighting anything, but just in case. And then I want to keep the summer frest on just so that we stay cool. Okay, is this is this ideal? It's about as ideal as we're going to get. And I have my armor on me just in case. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so we're just going to run down this way. Now, unfortunately... We will not have a endothermic fire that we can set up down here, so we'll... God, yeah, that's a lot of beefalo. I'm going to have to cull them before they get way out of hand there. Come on, Glomer. Yay! Come on, Glomer. It's almost a conglomerate joke. Oh, man, I forgot my freaking stone. Damn it, I'm an idiot. Hold on. This is dumb. All right. I, I, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Solars to that. Okay, hold on. Stand by. Alright. At least my sanity's actually going up. I think that's from just having Glomer in general. Alright. Let's go ahead and we'll throw some logs on our endothermic fire to cool off immediately. 
and then thermal stone. Okay, cool. Literally. Again, I don't mean to make that joke. It just happens. What can I say? True genius is uh, not forced. It is happened upon by chance. Okay. I hope y'all don't take anything I say seriously. That's that's a real a real fear of mine that somebody would dare take my me and my joke seriously at all. Hey, it's a rotten egg. Rotten eggs are good. They have uses. This is living logs. I don't know why. Oh, you know what? A tree guard must have wandered in here and fought all these guys. Ooh, that's crazy. All right. Yeah, no, that's that that worked out in my favor a little bit. Of course, no. Uh, I don't have enough space for everything I need. Okay, this is this is fine. We'll make it work somehow. So we're going to start at the far end here. Uh, let's go ahead and we will just focus on cactus and their cactus constituent pieces first. And of course tumbleweeds because they're just too good of a resource for that kind of stuff. Oh, that did absolutely nothing. Very neutral food item there. All right. I wonder if that gave me sanity for picking up those petals. That'd be kind of a cool possible oversight there. Alright, damage detected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big sissy. Alright, we got 40 sticks, so I'm not going to worry too much about the tumbleweeds anymore. Let's uh, go down here. Alright. And, yep. Taking a little bit of damage. It's not a super big deal. Just one cut read we're not going to worry about. Got all this extra random stuff here. Alright, that's all twigs, I think. Alright, fortunately it's staying pretty cool out. So, my thermal stone hasn't thawed. Which is the first step to concern here. And they look like something you would be able to dig up with a shovel, but this is not the case. And I know I could be wearing armor to negate some of this... Uh, damage, but staying cool is top priority, so we can continue to work for much longer. So, And we can heal fairly easily. We've got, once again, a ton of food that does really, really good at healing, and uh, this stuff is going to be a little bit more useful for sanity and a few other purposes, so. Okay, and, yep, damage still detected. That's totally fine. It's a marble tree. Might be worth trying to mine at some point. Morning, night approaching. Okay. We've got time. And I'm not particularly afraid of night at the moment. <clears throat> okay. Back over here. We're just going to finish harvesting all of these. Yeah, I am taking really good damage off of all this, though. If good is the word you want to use for it. All right. No nutrient no nutrient rich material remaining at this time. That's what he said. I was gonna try to read it in a robot voice and tripped over myself. <clears throat> okay. Now we're gonna find out if this is worth it, that's for sure. Oh, we got a wandering spider. Just two more things to harvest, and then we'll be done here. Alright, it looks like just hay and twigs. We're not gonna worry about that. I do have a torch that's at 81%. That's more than enough to get back. And one last cactus. There we go. Harvested. No guilt whatsoever. All right, cool. No, we were already back up to half health. That's not a bad deal. All right. So we're going to run back. Running back, running back, running back, back. Ah, that's why I ran out of space. I had living logs. I forgot I picked those up. So when we come back, we'll swoop through and pick up a bunch of manure and... Uh, then uh, some rocks, and then that'll be our little excursion into that area for now. Oh, it's getting dark. No! Oh, wait, I'm fine. Yeah. That wasn't, that wasn't a legitimate, like, concern. Okay. And then equip you. And then we're actually going to... Can I... I thought maybe I could cook on this fire. It appears I cannot. All right. We'll store that, and these go in there, and we will eat a couple of these sandwiches, because we have a ton of them, and they're really good for health. Alright, 
There we go. Back to full health. Still not even really doing anything to our food supply. Okay, now living logs. They'll be useful for stuff later on. Alright. Oh, come on. That was dumb. Alright, we just need this to be able to cook all of these. And this will be able to recover our sanity if we need it to, and also count as a vegetable matter. So, if we need that for a filler and something, it totally works. Not a bad gig. But yeah, I'm going to cook them all now. I have no idea how long they last, actually. That might not have been the best idea. Some things, like, last a lot shorter. Like, the first thing that comes to mind is pomegranates, where uh, you can run out of those very, very easily. Let's see. I can't tell how much fuel is left in that thing. So let me go ahead and I'm just going to grab the glomer goop and then equip my torch. Oh, yeah, it's almost out. Let's see. What does that do? Oh, that's not bad. Could be better, but that's not bad. All right. Okay. So we are good there. And then we'll store that. And then what do we need? What do we have left for this slightly better shirt? Floral shirt. Okay. Spider webs, which we have plenty of, and papyrus. Okay. So let's go venture forth and get our papyrus. Hopefully it shouldn't be too much of a big deal. It'll be kind of like the desert was just now. Except uh, with tentacles and shit that can kill me really easy. So, you know, you you win some, you lose some. Alright, so we just head out this way. Good stuff. Oh, okay, that was a butterfly. I noticed something over there kind of shrivel up, or it looked like it shriveled up, but it was just a butterfly going back into the flowers there. It was like, good lord, everything dies so easily in this game. Especially the plants in summer. Alright, making good time. Keeping up a good pace here. Oh, hey! What do you know? Look who I found. This is worth it. For the extra space here. Okay. Alright, and we just so happen to have a tentacle spike. Alright, there's that. Oh, geez. Ranged. Okay. This is fine. I'm not in the least bit concerned. Yep. No reason to be. There's a purple gem. We'll come back for that later. Totally forgot that was there. How convenient. Alright. Re-equip everything. And then uh, continue on our merry way to the swamp, which is east of that. And now we have four gears. So we'll make our refrigeration, our, our last refrigerator, and then eat the rest. Uh, and that'll that'll be how I take care of that situation for now. I need to really... Oh, hey, there's another... Uh, this is where we died before. Yeah, 100%. Good stuff. Okay, cool. So fortunately we only need, technically we only need one more slot for reeds. So I'm not at all worried about our inventory situation right now because I'm not stopping to do anything anyways. Everything else can you know, go fuck itself. Unless I see like tentacle spots or something. And then I can use that for a rain jacket for next spring and that would be convenient. So, okay, picking up reeds. Real quick, one second. Uh, okay, I wasn't making a request of you uh, aside from like hold up, except I forgot that part. So, I just wanted to see how much time we have left, and we've got like six minutes, so we're doing pretty okay. We'll probably wrap this up, and then uh, head back to base, and that'll be the end of the video. Okay. Whoa. There we go. Mmm, I'm a little excited. That was a really good find. I'm so glad that chess uh, biome just so happened to be right there. So, and we're staying really cool. I'm watching the uh, thermal stone, and as long as it's got that kind of frosty look to it, it means it's totally fine. Oh, boy. Oh, don't hurt Glomer. No. All right. There's some reeds over there, but we're not going to mess with it because there's a crap ton of tentacles. I wonder if I left that long enough, could it become a level 3 nest or a spider queen and then uh, get her to fight all of those tentacles right there? That would actually that would work out very nicely. Oh, hey, we got shit catching on fire over here. I'm going to let that burn. Don't care. <gasps> Glomer glue. Quickly. Okay, now I'm out of space. All right, I forgot about that. Okay, lots of spider nests. We're just sort of exploring the edge here. Okay. And... All right. And we can eat the Glomer glue, and it does really good. But it takes out a ton of your sanity. Like, 
the the sanity effects with Glomer are kind of interesting to me because they don't they're they're not particularly intuitive. It's like he recovers a lot of sanity, but eating gloop uh, removes a lot of sanity. I guess technically it is like a poop, a type of poop. So it's not that weird that it would make you lose your sanity if you were eating bug poop. So you know that makes sense. Sure, I'll I'll buy that. All right, we need to be careful here because you can see the. Uh, wavy ground there. That means there's a tentacle that's prepared to lash out at us, quite literally. Alright. We're doing pretty good. Aha! Here we go. I have one too many twigs. I forgot to put that up. That's okay. Not a very high priority. Whereas Glomer Gloop is incredibly industriously useful as well as reeds. So, let me see. This is actually... Usually whenever I get a swamp biome, it's pretty small. Like, it doesn't really help that much and there's six or seven reeds that I can get that I have to wait for three days to be able to go pick up more, and this is pretty incredible, to say the least. I might even make a fire here if I can find a good safe spot, and then finish harvesting all of these. Okay. At this point, it might almost be completely necessary. I'm just about giving myself no outs. There's another random skeleton. Okay. We go up here. Oh, I'm actually getting hot. Well, afternoon's almost here, so it should cool off. Alright. And... Here's hoping that the fire doesn't continue to overheat me. And I'm getting a little worried, actually. The fact that this fire, or the heat vision is not going away is uh, a little alarming. Alright. Let's see, there's my torch. Let's just go ahead and start heading back. Does this count? No, it's too small. Okay, there's a path through there. We're just going to take this path back. I'm getting greedy at this point. And I recognize... Oh, ow! That was no good. That's a pretty smart amount of damage. Okay, that's more than enough papyrus or reeds that we need for papyrus for the time being. So, we're just going to head back as quickly as we can. Okay... Oh yeah, there we go. Totally overheating. Ah, shit. I can't use it. Alright. Oh boy. Health is going down big time. Come on, full-size tree. Full-size... Oh, oh, it's dark. Okay. Full-size tree. Where's the full-size trees? Son of a bitch. That's not a full-size tree. Here we go. Okay. 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 Alright. Oh man, that was bad. That was careless. That was careless and terrible. Alright, now Glomer is somewhere. He should follow us though. He'll follow us back to base since we have his flower. Okay, now let's make it back as soon as we can. Is that enough? That's not a full-size tree. I'm assuming it's a full-size tree rather than risking it on small trees where I just get myself into trouble. Alright. Okay. Yeah, Glomer's following us. We're good. Okay, tree's not enough, apparently. I don't want these torches to run out. So we're just going to book it back to base. And then we'll eat more froggy bunwitches. Fortunately, fortunately, give us a, a pretty good leeway in regards to what we can and can't pull off here, travel-wise. So let's just go down here. No big deal. <laughs> I got it. It's okay, guys. It's totally fine. Alright. Made it back to base. Alright. Now we'll cool off. Throw the thermal stone in the fridge. Do some item inventory management. Actually, we get that. Throw you in there. That should top it off. Perfect. Torch is almost dead. And seeds go in the fridge. Oh, hey. We actually have a really respectable amount of food here. Including a pomegranate, which I don't think we have the seeds for yet. No, we do have seeds for it, but I'm going to give it to this bird anyways. Okay. Cool, and now it's daytime again. Oh boy. Uh, so yeah, this just so happens to be the end of the video. I'm going to tie up some of, this, uh, some of this fun stuff here. When we come back, we'll make that other ice machine, eat some more gears, all will be well. And we will continue moving on with our fun adventure in the summer here. Ha 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 ha. I said it was fun. It's not. It's fucking awful. 
This is by far... It's worse than winter as far as I'm concerned, for sure. Okay, we're going to try that. Oh, yeah, just to demonstrate how totally fine we are. Froggy Bunwich. And, yay. See? No big deal at all. I really need to make a minute effigy soon, because I play it fast and loose. Anyway, oh, jeez, I am so sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, this has been Cardboard Decoy playing Don't Starve. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have fun.